Hi, this is Cynthia from Cynthia's Chair, and today we're going to make beef stew in the Instapot. I know that sometimes I forget to get everything ready and throw stuff in the crock pot, and this is actually going to be less than an hour from start to finish that we're going to be able to make beef stew in the Instapot. So we're going to go through the steps and show you how to do that. I just finished taking some fat off of our beef that we're going to be using for our beef stew. And everything was cut on this plastic cutting board. And one of the things that I make sure I do after every meat that I touch and handle is to add some bleach. And then I'm just going to use a paper towel to clean this up. So make sure you clean all of your surfaces with bleach. Now it's time to get the beef ready. I have prepared flour. And to that flour, I've added salt and pepper, which I'm just going to mix that together a little bit. The reason that you add flour to your beef stew is because that's going to act as a thickener to make it a little a bit heartier. So I'm just going to take my stewing beef and I'm going to dredge it into the flour. And from here, I will take that over to the Instapot, which I'll show you in just a second. So we're just going to do that with all the meat. So I have my Instant Pot plugged in and I have a saute brown button right there and I'm going to turn that on and I'm going to start sauteing my beef. So I have got some coconut oil here and that's what I'm going to use to saute my beef in and I'll add it as I see that I need it. So we're just going to add some coconut oil and then get the beef over here ready to saute. So now I'm waiting for the Instant Pot to reach a temperature in which I'm able to saute the meat. Okay. And now it's ready and I'm ready to put my meat in. Okay. If you can hear that sizzle. And I chose the coconut oil just because it's a little bit healthier and it really will not add anything to the flavor. It won't change anything with my beef. So I'm just gonna put these in here and saute them right up. I wanna get them nice and brown. And if I have to add more coconut oil, I will, which it looks like I might need to. I'm doing my beef in two batches just so I have, oh, sorry about that noise, so I have enough room in there. The nice thing about making it like this is I don't have another pot or skillet that I have to worry about cleaning. So we're just going to let that brown for a couple minutes. So all of my beef is now nice and brown and I'm going to take it out because I want to show you how to take care of the bottom of your pan. You're going to have some flour mix down there on the bottom and we're going to add some broth to it. And then it'll be ready to put all of our ingredients in, close this up, and we will have beef stew. All right. So now this is where I'm going to add my broth. And as I add my broth, I'm going to start breaking up what's on the bottom of the pan. Now you might notice that that's a light colored broth because I'm not able to use beef broth. I have an allergic reaction to that. So um, I'm just using a stock vegetable 
I know well, I want to get this all up. The reason I want to get it all up, A, it's going to add wonderful flavor to the beef stew, but also I don't want this sticking as it's going to be cooking for the next 35 minutes. Once you're done with that, then you can start putting your ingredients back in. Okay, so I have all of this dredged up from the bottom, ready to go. Now I'm just going to put in my beef. And if you notice, some of that beef still has pink in it. It's all going to cook in there. So there's my beef. And I'm going to add to that potatoes. Carrots. And I'm going to add about a tablespoon of garlic, minced garlic. Nice flavor to it. I also have a tablespoon of soy sauce and two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. So I'm going to mix those up and I'm going to add some more broth once I get this all mixed around. And then we are going to be ready to close this up. and enjoy beef stew in just about 45 minutes till everything is said and done. Okay, so I'm gonna add some more broth to this. And again, that flour that we used earlier is what's gonna make this be a stew. So it will thicken it up. I might need to add a little bit more. Nope, that looks good. That looks good. We want it nice and thick. Okay, go ahead. So now I have it plugged in. As you can see, the lights are on there. I just need to close the lid. I need to close that section. And then I remember I need to seal the valve that's back here. Now, on my Instant Pot, I have a meat stew setting right here. And that's what I'm going to push. And I want to set this for 35 minutes. So I need to adjust the time. So here's my cooking time button. And I'm just going to adjust that to 35 and hit start. And there we go.